Hey guys, it's Dr. Berg here. I wanted to create a short video for those people who cannot, for the life of them, give up sweets, okay? So we have to define what an addiction is versus just a habit, you know? People that crave sweets, a lot of times, don't realize they are addicted. They may just say, I love sweets. But here's an addiction. Addiction is something that if I were to tell you you can't have it anymore, you would say, no, I can't live with that. I have to have it. So it's a, it's a thing where you cannot resist. All right, so are you addicted? Okay, you are. All right, good. That's the first thing, to acknowledge you have an addiction. A habit is something that maybe you remember it and uh, it's pleasurable, but you don't have to have it. Okay, so sweets are so addicting, it's even more than drugs. It's huge. It's everywhere, everywhere you go, grocery stores, and it's constantly on the mind. So um, especially if you go on a diet, now you're going to want it more because that's about depriving and telling you you can't have it. So that's a bad strategy. So I have a better strategy for you. You just need to, instead of depriving yourself, we need to substitute something that gives you the exact same pleasure as the sweets, okay? But without the sugar, okay? There are a lot of di different sweeteners that you can use. I created a little book. Uh, actually, it's a healthy substitute pleasure book that has in here amazing little recipes, candy bars, chocolate bars, English muffins, there's even a bread recipe, cookies, healthy granola, uh, look at this, peanut, peanut butter cups, more cookies, ice cream. And this is made with healthy alternative sugars, so there's no sugar, no bad stuff, no flour, but it gives you the exact same sensation. So this allows you to actually do a program. Why wouldn't you want to do a program that would replace it exactly because there's really no good in sugar at all. There's nothing good in sugar at all. Um, so when you do this, you avoid the blood sugar spikes. And over time, the receptors for sugar that have been downgraded, which I mean adapted to how much sugar that a person was eating, um, now they become upgraded, which means that when you eat sugar, now it's like too sweet. Like right now, if I ate sugar, I was like, I can't stand it. I don't even like the sensation of sugar. I think what's really wild is when you do this over a period of time and realize that it's not normal to have cravings. It's not normal to have this incredible desire to uh, like sweet. That's not a, a normal, healthy sensation that, that you should like. It's going to blow your mind. I mean, right now, I have no interest in sugar at all. And people look at me like, are you crazy? You don't like sugar? But when I was eating sugar, I wanted it more and more and more. I was, in, I was the worst. I was trapped in a thing where I had to go get Ben and Jer uh, Jerry's ice cream every single night. And I would eat a pint. And I did that over and over and over for several years. Yeah, I did that. I was in that trap. It is a trap. So, so it's really simple. You just need to have replacements that are uh, healthy. And then you do that over a period of time. Might be two weeks, might be a month might be two months. What will happen is that your sugars will level. You lose a lot of weight too, but your sensitivity to sugar will go up and all of a sudden things are way too sweet. So then even if you did eat sugar, it, it will be satisfying. Just a little bit will be and you'll be fine. Um, so this is a good way to get out of the trap, the sugar trap, and to do this comfortably so you're not depriving yourself. So I highly suggest getting this book. I created a link down there and um, start using these recipes because out of all the things that you can eat, I think sugar, honestly, creates more problems for people than any other thing health-wise. All right, I'll see you in the next video.